Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the last portion of this big ass TWAB, which there's still a lot more you can read. I highly suggest you read it, but these are the points that I wanted to talk about. And the last one, obviously, being the transmog. Now, if it was up to me, I would make this video first just because I think this, for me, is the most important. But I do think the other, por po uh, the other portions that I did first were more important than this. Uh, mostly because it's actually changing the game in a very real way like we're getting new things or things getting removed this is just something that like if you're into the fashion of destiny 2 this is going to be something really big for you so let's talk about this because i don't know how i feel about it yet so getting reacquainted with adelaide in season 14 801 is returning to the tower which is great i love her and with her comes the ability for players to take any armor they have in their collections and turn it into a universal ornament. In Destiny 2, we call this transmog system armor synthesis. Every season, Ada will offer players a set of bounties that highlight various activity types. Players can compete or complete these quests and receive the materials they need to power up Ada's loom, which can turn any piece of armor in your collections into a permanent universal ornament. Players short on time will also be able to purchase synthesis tokens for silver. So this kind of makes me a little worried just because from the wording, it seems like Ada is just going to give us a set amount of bounties. And then after we complete them, do, do they refresh weekly, daily? Do they have like repeatables? Because if they just give us like, oh, here, we'll give you five. And I think that's being generous here. You get you get five, which equates to five total armor pieces that you can uh, turn into ornaments. This means that it's not how most of us wanted it. I know a lot of a lot of us that are into the fashion of Destiny 2. We wanted the transmog to be specifically tied to our collections. And they did do that but they did it in a way where i did not want them to go so basically you pick and choose which armor piece you want and then you use your currency to activate that as a permanent universal ornament my fear is that you're only going to be able to use a certain amount of ornaments to hold which means that if you find something new that you really like then you're going to have to dismantle that from the customizing options and then use your currency to use that one instead. So it seems like they're going to be limiting us to choose, pick and choose which armor sets we really want when in reality, just let us choose from all of the collections. I don't understand why they would do that. Obviously, I don't know yet, so I can be wrong, but this is the untrustworthiness that I feel towards Bungie. So if they prove me wrong, I am 100% going to eat my words and I will. I've done so previously, but I would not be surprised if they ha if they put some limitations into the system that didn't incentivize spending silver, but made it easier to spend silver is what I'm trying to say. So let's continue on once you've acquired some new universal ornaments you will want to head over to the new appearance screen in the character menu where you can change the ornaments on all your gear in one place you also find that you can apply shaders here individually or on all pieces of your equipped gear with one click to make it even easier to try out a bunch of new looks in season 14 we've also changed shaders to be permanent unlocks Huh. Meaning you no longer need to hold onto stacks of shaders in your inventory. This might be the biggest change we've ever asked in Destiny 2, fashion wise. I don't think you guys understand how big this is. We've been wanting this change for, oh man, dude, like. Since Destiny 2 Vanilla, man, we hated this change in Destiny 1 into Vanilla, and we're finally getting it. Huh. Okay. At the beginning of Season 14, we will be including a starting supply of synthesis material as a reward for completing the seasonal onboarding quest. 
We know many of you have been looking forward to synthesis for a long time and want to front load your ability to create some of the looks you've been looking forward to showing off. And here's a picture of a Titan and how it's going to look. Again, there's there's indicators of pages, so it doesn't look like we're going to have limitations. It looks like we're going to be able to transmog as much armor as we want. We may have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We might have eight pages worth of ornaments for each of the like pieces, so the helmet, arms, chest piece, uh, leg piece, and then a uh, class item. If it's that case, I'm super fine with it. Like I want, I want this. This 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 is cool. I like this idea. It looks really cool. I'm excited for it. I just can't help but feel that Bungie's gonna do his dirty somehow. And I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. But it just seemed like some of these armor pieces are locked. Why is it locked? Also, it does seem like we're going to be able to transmog blue gear and purple gear and white or not, not purple gear, blue gear, green gear and white gear. So I am pretty fucking excited for that. I did not expect them to let us do blue gear, green gear and uh white gear specifically because i know there's a lot of stuff that the titans warlocks and hunters specifically titans and, war and hunters a lot of their blue and green gear and their white gear is pretty fire so i am legitimately excited for some of these changes i just really hope that they don't have any big limitations not only that i really do hope that the universal ornaments that we already have from the eververse stores stay intact as in you don't have to spend anything to use those because you already have those. Uh, again, I'm just very cautious. I don't want them to fuck this up. I don't want it to be like, oh yeah, it's more lucrative to just destroy your money on silver to to, to buy synthesis tokens than you know do it the the way that should be intended, as in in game. So we'll see. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this one was gonna be a small video, but I think it's important to see just the changes that they're bringing again let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm just really nervous and excited for this to come so that way we can just finally get our hands on it and be like okay what's what's, what's going on what's the deal and overall transmog is coming to destiny too man i'm excited shaders are changing this this is a good twab man this is a twab that we really needed to see because a lot of people although this season is good we needed we needed changes like these especially like the leveling the sunsetting there's a lot of things in this trap that's just so good so i highly suggest you read it especially for people that like gilded titles there's there's changes to gilded titles that people are excited for there's this really cool concept art which i think i showed in a previous video but if i didn't i'll show it again it's really cool i think the hunters look really cool although the cloak is a the hood is a bit much but overall, I do like it a lot. The Titans look really fucking cool with, I think, the exception of the helmet. I think the helmet could be a little bit beefier. The Warlocks, hit or miss. I, I know a few people, people are going to like this. I personally don't like it. It looks a little weird. Uh, but it doesn't look bad, though. But yeah, I think the Warlocks is the weakest one of the bunch. I think the Titans probably win it for me because they look super cool. Uh, very reminiscent of other armor sets though. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys It's about to pop off man next season's gonna pop off. We're seeing a lot of cool things Ah, <sighs> and witch queen's gonna come what this year. I think either this year or next year. I don't even remember so Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below I thank you for watching my videos and just being cool and I will see you guys later